Right, so I know I've been doing a lot of videos this morning, but I just want to do just one more. And it's just for 2024, it's kind of my inspiration, what, what I'm looking for to do. And it's all about the power of progress. So recently I saw, I was watching a video of somebody progressed from nine years old all the way to 31. And basically they had like a very basic drawing at nine years old. It, it just wasn't very good. But then they started to flip the page and it's 10 years old and 15. Then now they're 31 and they're making stuff that looks super lifelike. And uh, it kind of reminded me, the other time I was playing Nintendo Switch with my, my little boy and uh, you know, peeked over, mm -hmm, let me see what's going you know, the trap, right, the trap. So, um, but in the meantime, I was like, man, that's so cool. And then I, I looked over at the Nintendo Switch he was playing and I was like, man, this is really cool graphics. And I started thinking back to when I started playing Nintendo and it was like the little square Mario and, you know, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, got it stuck in your head for the day. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> but, um, but, but the idea of progress, right? If the people who were making video games were depending on perfection, they never would have made progress, right? So when they started making video games, they did the best they could with what they had. And at that time, I was 8-bit, and that's why we had the Nintendo with the square controllers. And then as time went on, it, it began to progress, right? You got the little round controllers, Super NES. Then you got Nintendo 64, man, that was, wow. It's like, oh, this is 3D, you can actually walk around in this, you know? Um, I remember playing Star Wars and everything, and actually even my church was using um, clips from, I think it was like PlayStation 1 or something, but they had like this, you know, superhero guy, and, and, and the bad guy was like Darth Vader, and they took graphics from PlayStation, you know. It was really cool though at the time. But um, just kind of thinking in, in those steps, right? Um, they started with what they had, and then now you've got to the point where basically, you know, my, my, my son has an Oculus. You put the Oculus on, and I thought it was a joke, all this stuff with people walking on walls and, and, and you know, punching thin air and, and, and tripping on all that stuff. Well, it happened to me. Uh, I punched a wall, you know, a couple of walls by accident. Dang it! You know, because uh, the, the game that I was playing, I was just so immersed. And I know from there it's only going to get better, right? So if you look at your life like that, what do you have right now that you can put out there? What do you have right now that you can, you know, it might not be perfect, but if you're waiting for that perfection, if somebody was waiting for the graphics that we have now, back in 1980 when they released the first Nintendo, then, you know, we would never have what we have right now. It's all built on progress. So as you make the mistakes, as you see what you need to change, that's, that's when you start to progress and actually build upon um, your past experiences. So what I recommend, two things, right? Uh, one, document your, your progress, right? Record about it, uh, write about it, share something about it. And then two, put it out there. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're just gonna do the best you can with what you have right now. So if you have this idea of content that you wanna put out, right? Get off this video and go and record your own video. Go start right now. And if you need to write down some notes, go ahead and write some, down some notes. But after you write the notes, tonight, I challenge you to go ahead and record that Facebook video. And put your content out there. And it's drawing, if it sucks, only you have to know it sucks, right? Because <laughs> that can be in a journal. But at least you have it documented, where you have a place where you can always go back to, where in a year from now, when you see where you've come from, you're gonna be so happy that you started today. So that's my, uh, that's my vision for myself, actually, for 2024. Um, I'm going to start doing things like putting out videos and, and doing training for video editors and, and things like that. So that's, that's my personal vision, but I also want to bring other people with me, right? I want you to grow as I grow. So that's my challenge for 2024. Um, let's focus on progress. Let's focus on doing things correct, correctly, right? Doing things with quality and stuff like that. So I'm not saying put something out that's cheap, but if you look at some of what the marketing guys are actually saying right now, oh, put out something on your iPhone video as opposed to doing like professional video quality, which is crazy. I know this is like a side road, but the idea is that it's progress. It's not perfection, it's progress. So I challenge you for 2024 to get up, put your bootstraps on, and make something happen. I'm excited for this year. It's going to be a great year.